Hey guys, it's Chase here, and you know, with Splatoon 2's life coming to an end soon, I think it's appropriate to make a video like this. Today, I'm gonna talk about 5 things that piss me off in Splatoon 2. A couple of these things are a little obvious, but some of these I've literally never mentioned on this channel before. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 1. Disconnections while on the home menu or friends list. So I'm sure most of you know what I'm talking about, but in case you don't, let me just explain really fast. So if you're inside the Splatoon 2 lobby building, in a ranked match, or in a league match, and you go to the home menu or friends list for a certain amount of time, the game disconnects you. And the amount of time that it takes isn't exactly long either. So I can understand the mindset behind disconnecting you if you're actually in a game, but what I don't get is the game disconnecting you when you're just on a lobby queue in screen. There's nothing more annoying than having an open lobby for League or Salmon Run than getting disconnected because you want to accept a friend request or something. What makes this one worse for me is that other online Nintendo games don't do this. Take Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for example. In that game, you can freely open up the home menu or friends list or whatever shenanigans you want, and it will not kick you. Why can't Splatoon be like this? Number 2. Main Power Up Damage Up So yeah, a lot of you probably saw this one coming, so I won't dwell on it too much. But I think that damage up is just generally a pretty stupid concept, and it's even worse in Splatoon 2 because there's no real counter for it. Of course, I might be a little biased since I use dualies, and this weapon class probably gets hit the hardest by MPU damage up. Let's hope that the devs have learned, and they won't make this mistake again for Splatoon 3. Number 3. Vision being obstructed So look, this has been an issue in both Splatoon games, but it's really bad in Splatoon 2. This game has so many specials that just obstruct your view, sometimes making it impossible to see what's going on around you. Stingray, Booyah Bomb, Missiles, Ink Storm, etc. If any of these get aimed in your direction, it can be very hard to see what's happening around you, making the game pretty frustrating sometimes. Like, nothing is more annoying than you getting prepared for the enemy team to rush you, but then out of nowhere a Stingray gets aimed in your direction blocking your camera, so you can't see where the enemies are. I will say though that from what we've seen from Splatoon 3, the specials look a lot better in this regard. Number 4. Queuing into lower level x rank lobbies when your power is much higher This is another obvious one that I think pretty much everyone can agree on. There should be no reason that a 2800 player can be queued into a 2100 lobby. That's just asinine. I know that the matchup system favors quick matches over balanced matches, but personally, I'd totally be fine with waiting a bit longer just to get a more even game. And also, getting matched up into rooms way below your power is stupid because the match can really only hurt you. Like if you win, you'll just get a plus 2 or a plus 3 most likely. But if you lose, it's basically a guaranteed minus 40. Please do something about this Nintendo. Number 5. Dying to Bombs Okay, I know this one might sound kinda weird, and I will admit that this is just a very personal gripe. But oh my god, nothing pisses me off more in this game than just minding my own business, than suddenly getting blown up by a random bomb. I find splat bombs to be the most annoying, since they explode so damn fast. A lot of times, if one is thrown at your feet, it can be near impossible to escape. Once again, there may be a little bias here since tetradoolies are pretty weak to bombs with how the weapon operates, but still, I've heard people complain about splat bombs who use other weapons. While I do hate dying to random suction bombs placed behind walls, as well as other bombs, I think they're all fine in retrospect. But I do really hope that Splat Bomb gets nerfed for Splatoon 3. Alright guys, well, that completes my list of 5 things that I hate about Splatoon 2. Now, don't get the wrong idea, I love this game. But with Splatoon 3 coming out in a month, and this game's life coming to an end, I think making a video about my least favorite aspects of it is totally appropriate. But I am curious, what are your guys' lists? Do me a favor and comment your own list of 5 things that you hate about Splatoon 2 down below. You don't need to provide an explanation for each thing like I did, although you can if you really want to. Also, be sure to give the video a like and consider subscribing if you want more Splatoon related content like this. And remember, Splatoon 3 is almost here, 
and content at this channel is going to reach a new level when it releases. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Take care.